Hello there and welcome to the Pets of Plenty channel. Are you curious to know if your Jack Russell Terrier will cope well with other dogs? You just got to the right place. And we're pleased to let you know the answer is yes. Your Jackie will adapt excellently well with another dog in the same home. We'll tell you more. Adopting a new dog offers a lot of potential and excitement. However, it is essential to know how your dogs will relate to one another before you proceed. In this video, we've gathered some tips that will help you create the right atmosphere and help your Jack Terrier adapt smoothly with other dogs, so watch to the end so you will not miss any information. Before we get into this video, we would like you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we post a new video. Tip number one, early socialization. The training process of a Jack Russell Terrier includes a lot of socialization. The primary goal of this phase is to help a puppy acquire a social behavior among other puppies, adult dogs, humans, and other animals throughout its lifetime. You can start socializing your Jack Russell Terrier puppy from around three weeks of age by introducing him to people, other pets, and objects one-on-one. -on -one. Take your puppy out for walks and trips after he feels comfortable meeting new people at home, ensure he has been adequately vaccinated vaccinated and avoid areas where he is more likely to contract illnesses. Instead of taking him out during peak hours, consider taking him out during off-peak hours. A large number of moving cars, as well as surrounding noise, might terrify your ostensibly brave Jackie, causing shyness and aggressiveness. Your puppy will be ready to live with another dog once it's accustomed to being social. Tip number two, introduce your dogs to one another. It is a brilliant idea to introduce your dogs to each other in a neutral location other than your yard or home. Before you do this, be sure you will be able to spend at least a weekend together with them at home if you live alone. At first, you might want to keep a close eye on everything and oversee attentively. If you have a yard, taking the dogs outside before entering the house could be beneficial, but that is, of course, if the weather permits. Allow them to walk on a long leash at first until you see that both your Jackie and the other dog's bodies are relaxed. You can call off the restraints after they start to look calm and interested in a pleasant way. Make a conscious effort to bring both dogs into the home as fast as possible so that neither reacts later to the other's entry. Tip number three, give constant supervision. Give the necessary supervision to your dogs to avoid bitter disputes, but do not penalize this type of conduct. It will enable you to watch out for any bullying behavior from one dog towards another. If you see one dog avoiding eye contact and interactions, turning over onto his back, or attempting to flee from the other dog, quickly intervene. This might indicate that one dog is uncomfortable and afraid, and the other dog isn't reacting correctly to his avoidance indications. Also, while super Supervising your dogs, watch out for staring that cannot be halted, rigid, stiff muscles, and postures that last more than a few seconds, or full contact fighting as they are all examples of significant disputes. In addition, regular supervision during game time will keep you aware of when the game becomes too intense. Be ready to distract and redirect the dogs to another activity. Dogs generally learn to regulate their play as they grow more comfortable with each other. Tip number four, avoid lengthy bonding sessions. For your Jack Russell Terrier to get acquainted with your other dog, bonding sessions are essential. Although, consider that when left together during the first few weeks, the new dog, in particular, may be pretty nervous. So, please do not leave them together alone for a long time until you're confident that they have become familiar with each other. Try to crate them when the need arises or you can separate them with a gate. To avoid difficult situations from occurring while you're away, time the bonding sessions. In the early stages of socialization with a new puppy, keep the bonding sessions short and sweet. Tip number five, create room for personal space and time. 
As a dog owner, it is a part of your duty to recognize when your dog requires alone time. Like humans, your Jackie sometimes needs its own space from everyone and everything. Ensure that the other dog around it does not deprive it of its freedom. You can put them in different rooms to give them a break from each other. Furthermore, ascertain that you have a spacious environment before getting another dog. Readjust your home setting to fit each dog. For example, get more than one of every item, such as the dog bed, dog couch, water bowl, and a nice spot to lie down if possible. There should be lots of toys, preferably the ones your dog likes, so the dogs do not have to struggle over who gets to play with them. To help them get a sense of ownership, you can put these in place before adopting a new dog. Tip number six, give individual attention to each dog. Note that giving your dog love and attention is an essential part of dog ownership. It is also crucial that you pay attention to it at the appropriate moments. Showering it with attention can strengthen your bond with it and is even beneficial to your dog's health. When you adopt a new dog, try as much as possible to give equal attention to both, as neglecting one for the other can make your dog withdraw and lead to separation anxiety. Spending more time with one dog can stir up jealousy and aggression in the other. In other words, giving equal attention to both your dogs gives them a sense of belonging and helps them keep a smooth sailing relationship. Tip number seven, schedule daily exercise and play times. Giving your Jack Russell Terrier quality playtime with other dogs is one of the most effective ways to improve socialization and relieve boredom. Engage the dogs with active toys and games. If you can, invest in toys such as the Nylabone Durachu Power Chew Dog Toy or others like a Flirt Pole, Fetch a Ball, Pet Geek Playbone, and an LED High Bounce. On the other hand, exercise is more than just a kind of physical activity. It goes a long way to create physical and emotional wellness in a dog's life. Your Jackie may feel anxiety or despair if you do not give it at least 30 minutes of daily exercise. In the same vein, your dog may develop behavioral issues if it does not burn out its energy. It could take it out on the other dog if one lives in the same home or occupies the same space as it does. Take them out together for walks. While they're at it, they could look and smell at each other to further help with bonding. Number 8. Offer Treats and Punishments The act of discipline is an essential step in the training process of every dog breed. If it is ignored or neglected, you might be in for some challenging experiences as your dog grows older. To effectively discipline any dog breed, a little prior knowledge is required not to do it wrongly. Jack Russells are no exception in this case, and if they are not adequately disciplined, they may develop the mistaken idea that they are in command and may rule over the other dog in a specific manner. Incorporate some healthy and easily digestible treats in your dog training routines. Treats are fantastic, dogs love them and will go any length to acquire them. They respond better and catch up quickly when there is a price attached to every training. Avoid giving them treats that might make them ill, so remember, your ability to award goodies to each dog is key to bringing out the best of your dog. However, check with your veterinarian before implementing any information, as their advice supersedes every other one you can get on the internet. If you learned a thing or two from these tips, go ahead and let us know in the comments section. That's it for today's video on the tips to help your Jack Russell Terrier live smoothly with other dogs. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new pet video. Also, remember to click on other videos that pop up on your screen at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.